We're going to bring in our chief investigative correspondent, Brian Ross, right now with some newly obtained video. It takes us inside an encounter between U.S. border agents and Mexican teen when it was over, the teen was dead. Brian is here with this pretty shocking story. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, George, and it is. Uh, this story is about U.S. border officers accused of outrageous conduct in dealing with a high school student trying to bring drugs into the country, all caught in gripping detail on a video obtained by ABC News that the government did not want the public to see. It's 621 on a Monday evening at the San Ysidro, California border crossing, and the man in the white sweatshirt is a smuggler a 16-year-old high school student by the name of Cruz Velasquez with drugs hidden in two bottles in his shoulder bag. Cruz was recruited, we believe, as a mule. Here, we'll give you $100 or $200 if you just take these bottles across the border. But things go bad almost immediately. The young man appears nervous, and these two Customs and Border Protection officers start to examine the two bottles in his bag. So they know that there's something funny, there's something fishy. What's in the bottles is highly concentrated methamphetamine dissolved in liquid. But instead of conducting a standard field test, the two officers encourage or at least permit the young man to prove it's just juice as the family lawyer takes us through the video. Cruz now points at the bottle and she's saying, okay, drink it. And she makes the gesture that we associate with to drink. Now watch the male agent. He says, drink another one. You see them exchanging glances and smiles because they know what's going on. This is a game in which he's being played with. It happens again and again. Two more sips. And you see the smile. A total of four swallows in all of the highly toxic solution, something the officers will later say under oath the teenager volunteered to do. I never asked him to. He volunteered to and I believe I gestured to him to go ahead. You told him to go ahead and drink on more than one occasion, did you not? No. And you're sure of that? I'm sure. But the government video obtained by ABC News seems to contradict that. Now Velasquez can barely stand, sweating profusely. I noticed some labored breathing and he was shaking a lot. I remember putting my hand on him and just told him to, like, relax. It will be more than a half hour after the first drink until the officers call for a team of paramedics. A fateful delay. Cruz Velasquez died about an hour later of a massive overdose. The government paid a million dollars to settle a lawsuit brought by his family with no apology or admission of wrongdoing. There was no prosecution, no punishment, not even a reprimand for the two officers who remain on the job to this day, George. That is just stunning, Brian. Yeah. Okay, thanks very much. There'll be much more tonight on 2020 at 10, 9 central, right here on ABC.